up? My name is Taku, and this is my mind massage. I'm about to take you on a sound journey using some of my favorite things. So for um, Gen Z that are watching, this is a, it's called a Discman, and this is what was the gateway to uh, my discovery uh, to music, and borrowing as many CDs from friends that I could, and never giving them back, and then destroying the CDs, and then giving them back. I'm from a small town called uh, Perth, Australia, um, on the west coast of Australia. I'm from a place that's like extremely isolated. Um, people don't want to visit there. No, they do. It's beautiful. But I always felt very separated from the rest of the world. And uh, being from Perth helped me kind of find my voice and share my music with the world. For people that have never heard it before, would be extremely uh, emotional, nostalgic music. Uh, for people that aren't afraid to cry. Uh, I first started making music when I was 22. Um, I had a full-time job selling health insurance. And I had to do something that wouldn't make me go crazy. So that's when I started making beats during my lunch break. And that's where I fell in love with making beats and becoming a producer. Let's put that wrong. 
subject send because that album Dwelle I'm the biggest fan of Dwelle his music is so incredible and I can listen to that album back to front on days in and never get sick of it I love you Dwelle Mate. 
<laughs> How cool is that? And um, ever since then, I've been telling everyone that he's my best friend. <laughs> but I just love the generosity of people like that who have accomplished so much and still give so much to people. That wasn't as discreet as I thought it was going to be. But these snacks, like I'm half Maori, half Filipino, and I hate to feed the stereotype that all we do is eat. But these snacks are Korean, and my wife introduced me to these. I don't know what they're called, but they're like styrofoam that tastes like ma maple syrup. So don't judge me.